In today's video, we're gonna switch things up. So here are the top five hotels near SeaWorld Orlando. This video is sponsored by BCB Deals, local coupons and deals. Hey guys, welcome back to O-Town Review, and in today's video we're bringing you something a little different. We're gonna bring you the top five hotels near SeaWorld Orlando. See, we do more than just eat. <laughs> okay guys, lots of people are trying to take staycations right now, and um, a lot of these hotels are offering different kinds of events, even through COVID. People are looking just to get away for the weekend, so we thought it'd be fun to uh, bring you guys a few hotels here. So we know there are some people out there who may want to stay near SeaWorld. Uh, for number one, they have Aquatica. Mm -hmm. Number two, they have Discovery Cove. And then they have SeaWorld <laughs> itself. So we're gonna bring you these top five hotels and we're gonna break them down like this. We're gonna do the most extravagant, we're gonna do the most family friendly, the most pet friendly, the best budget value, and the best overall. So if you're looking for the best months to go for price, that's gonna be August and September. If you're looking for the best months to go to avoid crowds, that's gonna be in May. Keep in mind though, August is the most crowded. By the way guys, we're gonna have all the links to the hotels in the description below. If you're interested in checking out one of these hotels, just click one of the links in the description. So the first hotel is the most extravagant. And of course, what's more extravagant than the Ritz Carlton? We've been several times for their Easter brunch buffet, which they're actually doing this year again. And it's beautiful and you can go inside the hotel and like be a part of that for the day. And I mean, I, I think it's a great value to spend the day there. I haven't stayed at the Ritz Carlton, but I've been on property multiple times and it is a great place to go. Yeah. So if you can afford it, definitely check out the Ritz Carlton. It's a 500 acre property with a luxury spa resort on the property itself. They have gorgeous guest rooms with Wi-Fi, flat screens, every room has a private balcony, and every room has marble bathrooms. The suites come as large as 2,645 square feet. That's insane. <laughs> That's huge. Plus, if you get a club level room, you get access to a lounge with free food. So the Ritz Carlton has 11 restaurants. Among those restaurants, it has a very high end sushi bar a French inspired cafe, and an acclaimed fusion eatery with a beautiful terrace that faces the back of their property. They have an 18 hole golf course, a 24 hour fitness center, a 40,000 square foot spa with a salon and 40 treatment rooms. I actually have been to their spa twice. It's amazing. Like it was honestly the best massages I've ever had. And then afterwards there's an indoor like big hot tub that they let you sit in and then you have your own private pool that you can lounge by after your massage. So you pay for the massage, but you're getting to use their amenities and it is amazing. Like it's amazing and worth every single penny. So, so the price range for the Ritz Carlton Orlando is anywhere from 274 on the low end to $1,110 on the high end. The next hotel we're going to talk about is the most family friendly near SeaWorld and that would be the Marriott's Harbor Lake and they have like an amazing kid area right splash pool um, things to climb on um, like really good um, entertainment for the kids which is really nice yeah. their rooms are like super colorful and pretty and um, just like you can tell like it just has like a more family friendly vibe Full kitchens, each place has a full kitchen. Yeah. If you know, if you stayed anywhere with kids, you need some type of kitchen. You need some type of area to like keep all their snacks, to make food or whatever. So it's actually really nice that each room comes with that. Mm -hmm. Parking is free. That's a plus. If you're a Marriott Vacation Club member, which I know actually lots of people who are, um, you get lower rates. The pool area and all that stuff, it looks like a little water park. Yeah. So, and it's got that family friendly vibe where it's like everyone's kind of like hanging out. It's really low key. Mini golf and a game room. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what kid's not gonna love this place? It's like kind of like a timeshare type place, but it's not. You can get rooms on a per night basis. You don't have to be part of any club, but if you are, you do get discounted rates. 134 bucks for the cheapest room. That is like a steal. That is not bad at all. Okay, so next on our list is our most pet friendly resort. And that's going to be the Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort on Universal Orlando property. Hmm. 
So for all of you pet parents out there that have to bring your pets with you on vacation, this is the place to go. I read so many reviews about how this is the perfect place to bring your dog or even your cat. You can bring two pets of any size for an additional fee of $100 per stay. This place will let you bring large dogs and cats. I can't think of a resort that's like, yeah, bring your cat. And $100 per stay, yeah, per stay, not per night. So you're staying for like four nights, you're only paying an extra $100. That's like way cheaper than a kennel. Well-behaved pets can be off-leash. What? I've never been to a hotel like that. All pets receive treats, leashes, toys, and a pet in room sign, huh. and a pet room service menu. So <laughs> they get their own menu for dog food or cat food or whatever, and room service can come into your room and bring your pet food. And even on top of that, it still has fun for humans too. An outdoor pool with a water slide, a spa, um, game room, arcade, two restaurants. So, like, there's something for the whole family. Kids, pets, and adults. Totally. Self-parking is 26 bucks a night, so a little on the expensive side. So overall, the price range for this hotel is anywhere from 189 to 359 a night. And next up, the resort with the most value is Rose and Shingle Creek. Only $89 a night at the cheapest. That is like a steal. Like there's like holiday inns that aren't $89 a night. I know you stayed there before. What do you think? Super clean, yeah. super pretty. The rooms are really nice. It's a huge property. It's a great place for kids. Yeah. Lots of room to run around. Uh, lots of restaurants, cafes, uh, a big pool. Um, and it's just a great deal. And it's a really good location. It's right next to International Drive mm -hmm. and it's right next to the Orange County Convention Center, and it's only two and a half miles away from SeaWorld in Aquatica. Yeah, and it has four pools, 15 dining options, a golf course, um, $18 parking, which is very affordable. Yeah. And honestly, it's beautiful. If you haven't seen it, go online and Google the pictures. Like, I was shocked to see how beautiful it is for $89 a night. Like. That's a steal. There's no resort fee, so you're not gonna get a bunch of things tacked on after the fact like yeah. you do with other resorts. So you're gonna book it for pretty close to that $89 per night. But for what you get, it's, it's a really good deal. Yeah. I definitely recommend it. And so last but not least, we have our best overall hotel, and that's going to be the JW Marriott of Grand Lakes, Orlando. Now, I have personally stayed at this hotel multiple times. I stayed here for my wedding night, I stayed here multiple times with the family, uh, wife and kids, just for a little fun getaway. Uh, they have a delicious mm. breakfast buffet, mm -hmm. 32 bucks. They have a whole spread. Uh, it's in a beautiful restaurant called Citron. I love that place. It is so delicious. Yeah, you probably fill up with breakfast and lunch at that buffet. They probably had to kick you out knowing him. I've actually been to this hotel. I've never spent the night here, but I have been here during the day as friends were staying here to go and use the pool. And their pool is super nice. It has like the lazy river. It's beautiful. I think it's family friendly and luxurious. It's probably the best Lazy River yeah. pool in Orlando, in my opinion. Uh, and there are quite a few. I think we have the most Lazy Rivers in the world, probably. Yeah, and probably the most laziest people. <laughs> but just to give you some details on this resort, it is an upscale four-star hotel. It's a 500-acre property, and guess what? It's connected to the Ritz-Carlton. Can you technically go and walk through the Ritz-Carlton and- a Absolutely. Not be eyeballed? No, not at all. Wow! But all rooms have flat-screen TVs, uh, I think they're 65 inches, so they're huge. If you get a suite, you get added mini fridges and a separate living area with pull-out sofas, and some even have kitchens. They have free fitness classes. Oh, great. If you want to get your fitness on while you're, you know, drinking and eating during the day, fitness at night, maybe, I don't know. That's good, though. Some people are really into that. And they have the most essential thing, which is a Starbucks. Yeah. That's like a little cherry on top yeah. for me. Whenever I'm like at a hotel yeah. and I'm on vacation and I know there's a Starbucks in the hotel, yeah. run downstairs, bring it back up. It's the best feeling in the world. Yeah, <laughs> they do things right. Marriott has always yeah. done things right. It's a beautiful hotel. It's, yeah, yeah, beautiful. It really is. Yeah, and especially for the price range because it's as low as $194. And honestly, that, that is a steal for the JW Marriott. All right, folks, that's it. That is the top five hotels near SeaWorld Orlando. Hope this video helped you. If you're planning on coming to Orlando and you want to stay in that area, please oh. use this as a guide, as a resource, and find yourself the best hotel to suit your needs. I'm actually excited to try out one of these hotels. Why not?
stimulus money. <laughs> <laughs> people need to get away like people are wound tight you can feel safe going to these hotels right now and you know it wouldn't be any different than your home so I think that they've gone to extreme lengths to make sure that people are safe and let us know what you think about these hotels have you ever stayed at these hotels do you plan on going to these hotels so guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah guys, thanks for watching the video. We will see you next time on O-Town Review.